Now, his portrait of Hitler's final days in the movie Downfall gained him an Oscar nomination and international acclaim. It also led to hundreds of internet parodies of the Führer, which went viral. But now there's a very different project for the German director Oliver Hirschbiegel. His new film is all about the world's most photographed woman, the Princess of Wales. I caught up with Mr. Hirschbiegel to discuss the two films, as well as war and politics back home. And as you might expect with the world's most famous woman, my report does contain some flash photography. The defining moments in the life of Diana, Princess of Wales, have been viewed so many times by so many that they've become indelibly imprinted on the collective consciousness. Now a new film from the director of Downfall inverts the public gaze, viewing the last couple of years of Diana's life and loves from her perspective, from the inside looking out. There's been a rumour you've done an interview for the BBC. Yes. Don't worry about that, Patrick. Everything will be all right. With such a familiar story that, you know, people around the world know or feel they know so much about her and her story, was it daunting trying to get a fresh perspective? Yes, I mean, that's, the, that, that's one of the reasons for the film, really. I think that the, 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 her legacy got a little bit uh, distorted, you know, in the, in the perception. And uh, there's much, there's, there's just the, much more to her, especially in these last two years, and then people seem to remember. It's wonderful, come in. It's wonderful. This is Angola calling. My darling, they're attacking you. Now how the junior defense minister called you a... A loose cannon, yes, I know. Cheers. Cheers. He doesn't treat me like a princess. Diana the movie is primarily a love story. Are you going down? Yes. What you focused on clearly in the film was her relationship with the heart surgeon Hasnat Khan. Are you disappointed that he's described the, the film as gossip? Does that undermine what you've been trying to do? No, not at all. I did, I did thorough research uh, in a very responsible way, as I, as I always do when I'm um, depicting true events. Yes, I did Five Minutes of Heaven, I did Downfall. It's something that, that, that is crucial, so I, I have... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm totally um, convinced that we did a good, um, a very good um, job here in telling this, in telling this tale. Looking at your previous film, Downfall, there is a sense, unless I'm pushing this too far, that the, the theme that unites Diana and Downfall is loneliness, is it not? Uh, I didn't pick the subjects for that reason. That, as a, I think being in a very powerful position, being famous whatsoever, is an, uh, makes you an isolated existence. That is something many of these kids who seem to strive for, for fame and being famous these days don't realize. It's a totally isolating situation. Downfall was applauded and criticised for portraying Hitler as a human being. That was to be expected, but the thousands of YouTube parodies it spawned couldn't have been foreseen. I find it rather amusing, and most of them are really funny. I remember that the King of Pop is Dead was... Uh, I liked that quite a bit. That's why I prefer! The Angriffsteiners I prefer! Well, the spectre of Hitler has loomed large in the last few days with John Kerry, the US Secretary of State, drawing a parallel with Hitler and President Assad in Syria. Are you surprised, given Germany's history, that Angela Merkel has ruled out intervention in Syria so decisively? Well, that's one of the reasons, you know. The idea within the German uh, public and... Uh, Opinion is that no German foot, soldier foot, should ever put uh, be on the ground elsewhere than in Germany, and I don't agree with that. I think we should most definitely do that because I mean, what, we'll be guilty till the end of the day, right? So we better do something about it uh, and and change it if we can and if we have the support of the UN and the rest of the world. And I think. It always pushing it over to the Americans to sort it out is not is not the right way really. So having made films about his country's most notorious villain and this country's most famous woman, how about the most powerful woman on earth? 
the German Chancellor Angela Merkel. I find Angela Merkel much less fascinating than Diana. Diana was really one out of millions, uh, kind of like a genius, like an old-fashioned movie star, really. Angela Merkel is a very smart politician, and politicians have something boring about them because they, they tend to avoid answers, they tend to not, you know, come out with the truth. And that for me as a storyteller is a rather lame approach. Oliver Hirschbiegel, thank you very much. Thank you.